Now in Good Morning Northwest, we're learning more this morning about two deadly shootings in the Inland Northwest. And this morning, one suspect appearing in an Idaho courtroom. Today's going to be very cool. It's going to be cloudy. We start to warm up and dry out. The timing on all of those things coming your way soon. And a tour of the Titanic wreckage gone terribly wrong. Why time is running out for five people in a missing submersible. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Nance has the week off. It is Tuesday, June the 20th. Mark has been asking to queue up some Alice Cooper schools <laughs> out for summer because for many in the Spokane area, today is finally the last day. That's it. They, they have a, a period now. I have no kids actively in school, but as <laughs> I remember, it's a check-in. Hey, we're still alive. See you next year. And then the day is done. 47 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. you got some cloud cover. We have cloud cover. We've had a few isolated showers that are still in the region. 46 degrees currently. Four things you need to know. Cool and showers today. No doubt about that. Isolated thunderstorm potential. Uh, tomorrow, summer arrives. 7.57 a.m. is the summer solstice. And then Hoopfest looks to be warm, and we'll talk about those temperatures coming up. Right now, current uh, conditions, low 60s. You've got 61 in Mead, 59 into Deer Park. Uh, these are going to be the highs day, excuse me, 59 into Spangle. It wasn't but a week ago. Those were our overnight lows. Here's a look at the Doppler radar. And, yeah, we have those rain showers around Waverly, Plummer, St. Mary's. We've had a few in around Deer Park, and we see some coming in south of Davenport and south of Harrington along I-90 um, as you get west to Sprague. So we have some scattered rain showers already. We're going to have temperatures warming up uh, by 10 o'clock. We should see low 50s, but it won't be until, you know, maybe 4 o'clock that we might hit that 60 degree mark, our high today. Well, this morning we will confirm the identity of the man Idaho State Police say shot and killed four people in a Kellogg home on Sunday. His first court appearance is scheduled for 10 a.m. ISP has confirmed the man accused of killing the four people was the victim's neighbor and is being held on probable cause for murder. They have not released the suspect's name or the names of the victims. One woman says she worked with one of the victims at a nearby nursing home. I heard who it was. I felt sick to my stomach, like I started crying. I was like, I, I, I had a hard time sleeping last night. I mean, it just like got is getting to me and I just. And Forners now will have a crew in that courtroom today. We'll bring you the very latest on air and online at KXLY.com. And from the Breaking Now desk, we continue to follow details about the second deadly shooting that shook the Inland Northwest this past weekend. It happened just outside the gorge on Saturday. Two people were killed and three others were injured, including the shooter. On Saturday, a gunman opened fire on several people just before 8.30 p.m. in the campground right next to the music festival. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says the suspect walked away from the shooting scene and began firing randomly into the crowd before he was taken into custody by police. People at the concert weren't aware that a shooting had happened, and many received texts from friends and family asking if they were okay. The very next day, the festival posted this message on Twitter, announcing the cancellation of day two of Beyond Wonderland. It's now been more than 48 hours since that shooting, and we still don't have a motive or the identity of the suspect. We do know that the shooter was injured while being taken into custody, and that the North Central Washington Special Investigations Unit, which investigates officer-involved shootings, will release more information at a later date. And this morning, one of the victims is sharing his story. We'll hear from him coming up in 30 minutes. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Well, new on Good Morning Northwest, a Utah author is suing the state of the husband she's accused of killing. Corey Richens filed a civil lawsuit against the estate of Eric Richens. She's fighting for half of all equity in the couple's home, which is worth around five times as much as they bought it for in 2012, but the legal title is in Eric's name. Richens also wants the court to honor the couple's prenuptial agreement, which gives her Eric's share in his stonemasonry business since he died while they were married. Richens is accused of poisoning Eric with a deadly dose of fentanyl. Several allegations in the case allude to the couple's finances being a possible motive. And now to that frantic search for the Titanic tourist submersible. That sub has been missing since Sunday morning with five people on board. And now experts are painting a grim picture of the rescue efforts. ABC's Ike Jachi is in D.C. with the details. 
This morning, rescue crews from the Coast Guard are reaching a critical point in the search for a missing submersible carrying five people touring the wreckage of the Titanic. The Coast Guard tweeting out an update Monday night saying crews will be working throughout the evening by both ship and aircraft, scouring an area over 900 miles off the coast of Massachusetts with water as deep as 13,000 feet, making the search extremely difficult. We need to make sure that we're looking both on the surface uh, for uh, the vessel if it had uh, uh, surfaced uh, back uh, to uh, the water, um, but it somehow uh, lost uh, communications with the vessel, and that's what the aircraft and the surface search vessel is allowing us to do right now. The ship left Newfoundland, Canada on Friday, carrying a submersible operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions. That vessel started its voyage down to the Titanic on Sunday morning. Officials say the ship lost contact with the sub an hour and 45 minutes into the dive. Ocean Gate Expedition says the submersible can hold five people, including the pilot, and has enough oxygen for 96 hours. The sub itself doesn't have a GPS, but is guided to the wreckage site by the ship above via text message. The round trip is at least eight hours long and the sub is supposed to rise to the surface if any problems occur. If they're not on the surface it's a very hard problem because now they're two miles underwater. Even the rescue submarines that we made for our war fighting submarines aren't designed to go that deep. And now, ABC News is learning that among the missing passengers is British billionaire Amish Harding. His company confirming he was on board, posting on Facebook just hours before the dive. Since 2021, Ocean Gate Expeditions has offered tourists paying roughly $250,000 a chance to travel with scientists studying the doomed ocean liner two miles at the bottom of the ocean. Now, the vessel used is called the Titan, and it's the only one in the world able to carry five people to titanic depths. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. All right, we'll continue to follow this closely. The beach is a great place to relax, especially in the summertime, but swimming in any body of water can be risky. So officials say you should keep the following safety tips in mind when you're getting in the water. Number one, only swim when a lifeguard is present and monitoring your area. Number two, don't swim alone. Have at least one swim buddy that can get help. Number three, stay in your zone. Don't swim in dangerous rip currents or areas that are too much for your swimming abilities. And last, check weather warnings and water conditions before you head out. Speaking of swimming in bodies of water, the boat launch and swim beach at Camelan Park in Post Falls opens today. Avisa says it expects operations to run through Labor Day. It also says water levels and conditions around the Post Falls Dam there can change at any time. So remember to be safe when using the river in that area. All right, good morning, Northwest. Time is now 6.08. We're going to send things back over to Mark Peterson. This is all we're going to get today, 60s. 60s, 60s too. Yep. Water's cold. Air's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be cold. Yep. Uh, for us, 60s today and again tomorrow. But then we'll have summer arrive and summer temperatures right behind it. So we're going to have the details on that coming your way. Right now, we do have some sun, some clouds, and a few scattered rain showers in our area. And we're live at the kitchen at Second Harvest talking about some community cooking classes where you can get summer meal inspiration. And if insects bug you, you might want to look away right now, where an infestation of crickets is creating a creepy and disgusting nuisance. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. On average, you can play longer on every dollar at Northern Quest. So chances are, your dinner plans don't stand a chance. Luckily, you can make new ones right here at Maslow Steakhouse. Northern Quest. Yes, the best. Your Broadway wishes granted at Disney's Aladdin. Audiences and critics agree it's exactly what you wish for. Don't miss Aladdin, the hit Broadway musical. June 27th through July 2nd at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Visit broadwayspokane.com. Hondas are piggy banks on wheels. Stylish, athletic piggy banks that save you money at every glorious turn. Legendary fuel efficiency, famous for its resale value, and now with great deals including two years complimentary maintenance, it's your chance to get into America's best value brand. So start saving money and drive happy as a pig in see your Inland Northwest Honda dealer today. Honda can handle it. Let's wave the flag together. Hello, I'm Mark Peterson with 4 News Now, presenting the Great American Flag Swap. 
Bring your old tattered flag to any BECU Spokane location on Friday, June 23rd. In exchange, you'll receive a new American-made flag from Uncle Sam's Flag and Gift. BECU is proud to be part of the Great American Flag Swap. We're honored to live in a community that supports veterans and military families who sacrifice for the benefit of us all. Visit us in Spokane and see what banking is like when people come first. BECU, not for profit, equals more for people. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book, arriving exclusively in members' mailboxes this week. Our 16-page book has store-wide savings in every department. Keep cool this summer. We have your pool and patio needs covered. Plus, find great savings on camping gear, pet essentials, and everything you need for the perfect barbecue. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. What images come to mind when you hear the phrase long-term care? It comes in many forms, whether it's assisted living, home health care, chores, or just providing transportation for appointments. AARP and BECU are here to help. For tips, tools, and resources, visit this website. If you have a fear of missing out, you might want to start earning with a free Camus Rewards card. Because, dude. Camus Rewards at Northern Quest for all the ways you play. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Tin Roof. Welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. A Mormon cricket crisis is expanding in the western U.S. The insect surge began in Idaho a few weeks ago. Now, millions of these flightless insects have descended on swaths of Nevada, taking over homes and blanketing roads. Look at them. Some homeowners are, homeowners are even using things like vacuums and power washers to clear out the crickets. The sheer quantity of them on the streets now forcing the Nevada Department of Transportation to use plows and warn of slick road due to the squash bugs. The insects have a history of causing widespread damage to crops and other vegetation. Experts say the crickets have a four to six year cycle and then they go dormant. Well, it's World Refugee Day. According to the United Nations, 20 people become refugees every minute, leaving everything behind to escape war, persecution, or terror. This year, 41 multinational companies have publicly pledged to provide jobs, training, and connections to work opportunities for more than 250,000 refugees in Europe. The company pledges are being made at a business summit in Paris and will be carried out over the next three years. President Joe Biden is in the Bay Area as his three-day trip continues. Today, he's expected to take on a hot topic in the Silicon Valley, artificial intelligence. The White House website says the information is crafting a national artificial intelligence strategy. Some experts say they worry misinformation could hurt democracy. Well, good morning. The 10-second takeaway on this Tuesday, clouds, showers. Yeah, we're going to see all of that already have. Um, you want to grab a jacket or a sweater because it's chilly outside. We're in the upper 40s. Our high today, just 60 degrees. Well, school's out for summer, or at least it will be after today in Spokane, but there's a downside to summer vacation, and that's summer learning loss. A 2020 study found that students lost, on average, between 17 and 28 percent of their school year gains in reading, and between 25 and 34 percent of gains in math during the summertime. But experts say there are many ways to help kids hang on to that learning. In the summertime, you can give them a loose schedule so that they don't lose touch with structure. It's important for kids to continue practicing managing their own time. Plus, a new crop of educational games can not only stave off learning loss, but supplement reading challenges as national data on proficiency, proficiency excuse me, shows kids are falling behind. I think it helps to look at our kids' learning skills as a set of muscles. If your child needs math practice, Figure out creative ways that they can do math. Maybe it's by cooking. Some other things you could try are making your own flashcards and using them on car rides or hikes and also getting your child a library card. All right. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 614. It's been unusually cold, but Mark says it's heating up as we head toward Hoop Fest weekend. And as kids get ready for summer vacation, Destiny Richards is live with Second Harvest with a way you can help them or keep them eating healthy while they're away from school. Is it your day to water? Know if you are odd or even and be water wise this summer. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe these guys will buy our house. 
What could go wrong? Like rookie home buyers who don't have experience you can count on. We Buy Ugly Houses has been buying houses as is for almost three decades. Call or click to sell quick. At Colville Toyota, the pups are always sniffing out a deal that works best for you. Plus, our entire team is customer focused. If you want a hassle-free, simple, easy, enjoyable, and quick customer service, take a scenic drive to Colville Toyota. We're customer-centered and here to help you with the new Toyota car, SUV, truck, and our mix of certified and used vehicles. Colville Toyota, where it's easy to buy, easy to do business with. We're your small-town dealership with the big heart. Catch the Summer Fun Five at Mystiquat Casino Hotel. We have over 300 gaming machines and we were always adding new ones. Play your favorite games to earn your entries to win a share of $10,000 cash. And one lucky winner will get to choose this 2023 Can-Am Commander or $20,000 cash. Drawing start at 5 p.m. Saturday, June 24th at Mystiquat Casino Hotel. We are 100% non-smoking. Live table games seven days a week. Learn more at Mystiquat.com. Don't let summer pass you by. Sale pricing is back at r, &R RV. Yes, RVs are now priced below retail at r, &R RV. Springdale, Cougar, Montana, Rockwood, and more. Don't wait weeks for other dealers. Every RV at r, &R RV is prepped and ready for immediate delivery. Sale pricing is back at r, &R RV. Shop now for the best selection and the lowest interest rates. r, &R RV in Liberty Lake, North Spokane, and Lewiston. Or online at r, &R RV.com. If you've been thinking about remodeling your kitchen or upgrading a bathroom with a fun new look, right now is the perfect time to call Northwest Granite and Cabinets. Northwest Granite and Cabinets is the premier shop for the best selection of unique granite, marble, and quartz countertop options and can customize any unique look you need with a variety of options for any room in your home. So, if you're looking to give your home a fresh new look this year, call Northwest Granite, the one-stop shop that does it all. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe these guys will buy our house. What could go wrong? Like rookie home buyers who don't have experience you can count on. We Buy Ugly Houses has been buying houses as is for almost three decades. Call or click to sell quick. Well, school will be officially out in just a few hours from now, and with kids being home, the task falls on families to keep them eating healthy meals and snacks. If you need help with this, Second Harvest has a community cooking classes that take place throughout the summer that could help inspire some new ideas. Destiny Richards is live at Second Harvest to tell us about the summer opportunities in the kitchen. Yeah, we are here with Melissa Johnson this morning, who's the Nutrition Education Manager at the Kitchen at Second Harvest. We are making some fruity roll-ups if you're just joining us. And Melissa, while you do um, some of the prep here, tell us a little bit about these community cooking classes that people can take advantage of. So they're great. Like I said, Tuesdays, Thursdays, uh, Tuesday night, Thursday afternoon, uh, we make one or two recipes each class. Um, they're able to sample the recipes, and then we send them home with groceries to hopefully recreate the same recipe at home home. All right, yeah. great. And we'll have you do some of the, the peanut butter okay. prep here. Tell us about the free roll-ups and just kind of you know, where all the ingredients come from, that sort of thing. So we try to use um, whatever we get into our warehouse that's donated or, uh, you know, we're very lucky to have people help us out with our mission. Um, so the berries come from our warehouse. They're going to be from growers. Um, we try to have seasonal, seasonally appropriate things. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a lot of shelf stable things. So things like peanut butter or rice or canned goods, that's always, always something in our recipes because that's what folks have. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So we're going to get to spread in here. Okay. So we have our whole wheat tortilla. The first First ingredient is sun nut butter, and we're gonna do about a quarter cup of the sun nut butter. Um, so I'm gonna actually kind of guesstimate here mm -hmm. a little bit. Oh, it's always good to remember um, to try to get portions uh, about right, because that really affects the nutritional profile of what you're eating. So we're gonna spread that in. We're using sun nut butter just to not have a peanut um, issue. You know, peanut allergies is a thing, so we always use sun nut butter. The next is about a cup of fruit. So. Again, guesstimating a little bit, but about a cup of fruit. So we had in our warehouse some strawberries, some really good, delicious strawberries. Nice. Yeah. These are huge strawberries. I know, that's what, I know, they are, they're very big, yeah. Um, so strawberries, and then we got in some raspberries. We always try, you know, it's fun to add what you have. So the best fruit for this recipe would be the fruit you have. So I think that's about a cup, kind of. 
So there you go. So the next step is just rolling it up. It's a fruit roll up. The ZZ recipe, kids could do it, seniors could do it, almost anybody could. So you want to give it a try to do the roll up? Yes. Okay, I let will. me give you some space. Oh. <laughs> Did let you work. All right, I'm going to hand it off here and send it back to you, Derek, as I'm rolling this up here. Oh, you just roll it like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And there we go. <laughs> Yeah, it looks great. And then I slice it up and that little round. All right. Yeah, like a fruit taco there or something. It is fruit. Tacos. Not a bad idea. Fruit, is it? <laughs> we're going to go with that, Fruit Taco Tuesday. <laughs> All right, we're taking a look outside here now. And uh, radar is, uh, well, some areas look like maybe they're seeing a few sprinkles, huh? You got blue sky, you got the cloud cover, and yeah, you've got rain showers. So it's spring, it's spring weather on the final day of spring. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Let's take a look at our radar. It has been active in and around Deer Park. We're seeing those to the north and then more coming in to that northeastern corner. And we're seeing those in and around our region. So again, we have a little bit of sunshine, have a little bit of rain showers. Uh, temperatures, uh, 49 into the valley, 47 Deer Park. You head over into Idaho, Hayden at 47 degrees. You got 49 into Coeur d'Alene. So again, cool, not cold, but then you throw the wind in there and it feels colder. So 60 are high today. That's 14 degrees below average. And we're gonna get the shower activity. We're gonna see the potential for showers overnight. It'll decrease and we'll see another round tomorrow, 46 for the overnight low. We look at the Pacific Northwest. It is Seattle, it is the Puget Sound, it is areas of the Cascades as you cross over. You're gonna see rain showers. Also, I-90 as you get west of Sprague, you're gonna see some rain showers there. All of that is gonna be rolling over the top of us throughout the afternoon. We're gonna see some breaks, then another round coming in for tomorrow. And the mountains are gonna to continue to have that, that uh, availability, if you will, just higher elevations of pulling the moisture right out of the clouds. Our highs gonna be in the upper 50s, 60. Ritzville 62 will be in the low 70s into the Tri-Cities. That planning forecast, um, 68 for tomorrow. That'll be the first day of summer, 77 on Thursday. That's average finally. And then we're in the low 80s all the way through the weekend. Uh, when we look at the temperature trend, and you can see where we're below average, then we're above average, and then, whoa, it really kicks for next week. After Hoop Fest, we'll be into the upper 80s. Wow. So the timing, I don't think, could be any better. Low 80s for the weekend is going to be great. Yeah, quite a difference, though, between now and uh, oh, next geez. Tuesday. Welcome. All right, Mark, thank you. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 622 when Mariners pitcher Robbie Ray was lost for the season due to an elbow injury. It opened the door for Bryce Miller. And the Texas native picked up his fifth win in nine big league starts on Sunday and drew a lot of praise from his manager. Hear what Scott Service had to say about the rookie next in sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. Get pampered, relax, invigorate, and rejuvenate. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa's new North Spokane location is a full-service salon that specializes in achieving this every day. Guests enjoy a complimentary drink with all services, including hair, nails, spa, microblading, full bridal, and more. Our 10,000-square-foot spa, one of the largest in the Northwest, accommodates large groups, and walk-ins are welcome, too. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa, a luxury experience accommodating everyone. Wildfire season is here and we may be affected by smoke. Protect your health by being prepared. One, check current air quality and fire activity online and plan accordingly. Two, when it's smoky, limit or avoid time outdoors. And three, keep indoor air as clean as possible. Replace home air filters more often and set the air conditioner to the recirculate mode. For the latest information about wildfires and air quality, visit the Washington Smoke Blog, wasmoke.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to ask you to use your lawn chemical sparingly. Some examples are pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. When the fertilizers and pollutants get into our waterways, they can impact the fish and impact our drinking water. So let's keep our waterways clean. Pollutants into the storm drain affect our fish and our wildlife and the overall health of our community. Some examples of pollutants are motor oils, RV dumps, paints. To learn more about stormwater tips, go to spokanestormwater.org. 
Kylie and I are excited to show you the rugged good looks and adventurous spirit of this all new Subaru Outback. It has a roomy interior and almost nine inches of ground clearance that make on or off road driving fun. Plus Subaru's legendary safety features like symmetrical all wheel drive and eyesight driver assist technology. Visit parkersubaru.com or drop by the dealership to learn why Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for eight years running. See the Subaru Outback and receive your no problem customer service at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Adventure, culture, and fine wine await you in the Lewis Clark Valley, less than two hours south of Spokane. Tour some of the world's most spectacular wilderness, beauty, and wildlife in Hell's Canyon. Experience the region's rich and diverse culture and history. Savor award-winning Lewis Clark Valley wines and delicious culinary creations from a variety of local wineries and fine dining establishments. Go to visitlewisclarkvalley.com and plan your destination getaway today. One of the struggles so far this season for the Seattle Mariners has been their inability to stay healthy on the mound. But because of that, we may have been introduced to a future star in the form of rookie pitcher Bryce Miller. On Sunday, Miller had his best outing of his professional career, going seven strong innings, only giving up a single run on four hits and striking out six as the Mariners went on to take the series finale against the White Sox 5-1. to one. After the game, the manager Scott Service heaps some praise on his young ace for not letting the moment get too big for him. You know, younger pitchers going back out for the seventh inning, and it's not so much about pitch count. Everybody stares at that clock. It's how the stuff is and how they're reacting. And I've talked to a few of our young guys about when you're getting to the end of the point in the game and you know you can see the finish line, empty the tank, let it all out. And that's what he did. And he executed great in the seventh inning. Huge inning for us. Like I said, our bullpen was light today and was hoping to stay away from a few guys down there. So credit to him. It's just a fantastic outing. Seattle will now travel out east for a second time in a month as they're going to open up a series against the New York Yankees on Tuesday night. And in their previous series earlier this season, it was the Yankees that absolutely hammered the M's as they outscored them 20 to 7 in three games. Reporting in studio, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 627 on the dot. A man who survived the shooting at the gorge this weekend is sharing his story, why he thinks the shooter turned the gun at him, and what he has to say about security at the campground that night after the break. But before we go, here's a first look at what's coming up on GMA starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, a shocking moment on stage. Singer B.B. Rexa hit in the eye mid-performance by a cell phone that was thrown by an audience member. They turned on the lights and we started heading for the exits. That was definitely a hard hit and um, really shouldn't have happened after such a great night. A 27-year-old New Jersey man was charged with assault for hurling the phone at Rexa. But this isn't the first time a fan has been caught behaving badly. Some fans are making it extremely dangerous for both the artists and other people around. Posting photos of her injuries Monday, her eye black and blue, the pop star also posting this video on TikTok to let her fans know she's okay. I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. And coming up at 7 a.m., what Bibi is saying this morning as we take a closer look at the alarming trend of fans behaving badly at concerts. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, New York. With wet AMD, sometimes I worry my world is getting smaller because of my sight. But now, I can open up my world with Vibismo. Vibismo is the first FDA-approved treatment for people with wet AMD that improves vision and delivers a chance for up to four months between treatments, which means doing more of what I love. Vibismo is the only treatment designed to block two causes of wet AMD. Vibismo is an eye injection. Don't take it if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye, or are allergic to it or any of its ingredients. Treatments like Vibismo can cause eye infection or retinal detachment. Vibismo may cause a temporary increase in eye pressure after receiving the injection. Although in common, there is a potential risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. Open up your world. A chance for up to four months between treatments with Vibismo. Ask your doctor. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Save your green! 
Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim checked for you. I got a call swap. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Get $200 when you open a new checking account with Horizon Credit Union. When you bank with us, you'll get expert guides to help you on your financial journey, a pathfinder, an advisor, a teammate, a guardian, and peace of mind wherever you're headed next. So if you're ready for a better banking experience, sign up in branch or online with the promo code GET200. Horizon Credit Union, your path, our purpose home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories, create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. Wildfires can strike at any time. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage keeps you safe on TV and on the go to protect your family. Be on alert. There are flames. That's what we mean when we say expect more. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. All right, we're taking a look at some of the stories making waves online in the 4 News Now Story Tracker. A massive search operation underway this morning to find the missing submersible with five people on board. It's been missing since Sunday when it lost contact two hours into a trip to view the wreckage of the Titanic. Among those on board, a British adventurer, a French diver, and a Pakistani father and son. Officials are racing against time to find the sub, which has between 70 and 96 hours of life support left. The Titanic's it's at the bottom of the ocean, nearly two miles below the surface, southeast of Newfoundland, Canada. And breaking news this morning out of Romania, where online influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan are among four people charged today with human trafficking, rape, and setting up a criminal gang. The group is under house arrest pending a criminal investigation for abuses committed against seven women. Andrew Tate is also charged with raping one of the victims. The trial won't begin for at least 60 days, so the court's preliminary chamber can inspect the case files to make sure they're legal. Well, good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Nance will be back next week. It is Tuesday, July the 20th. Mark Peterson is here, though, with a look at that first alert forecast for what is the last day of school for many. For many, and wrapping it up with a little bit of sun, blue sky, cloud cover, and rain showers all in the same picture. And that's going to be our day today. 46 degrees currently. We do have winds 10 miles an hour, making it feel like it's in the upper 30s. That's why you're grabbing a coat or sweater. We do have, again, those rain showers that are in and around our region. They're going to be spotty. They're going to be scattered. We see more of a concentration as you head west on I-90, so be aware of that as well. Four things you need to know. It's going to be cool and showers all day today. Isolated thunderstorm potential. Wednesday, it's going to be summer officially on the calendar, but it's going to be another cool, cloudy, and rainy day, and then a warm, dry Hoopfest weekend. We'll talk more about that, but coming up with the forecast radar, these are the showers that we're going to be seeing through the region, and we're going to have that potential. So for today, we're going to be into the mid-40s. It won't be until the mid-50s for noon, and our high today, just 60 degrees. On Saturday, a gunman opened fire, killing two people and injuring two others at the campground next to the Gorge Amphitheater as the Beyond Wonderland Music Festival played on. This morning, one victim is sharing his harrowing escape from that deadly shooting. Sydney Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk with the story. August Morningstar is a father of two from Eugene, Oregon. He says Beyond Wonderland was his first concert in decades and that the gunman shot him once and came back for more. Listen to this. I think before he saw me, he killed someone, and I think he thought I saw what happened. And so I guess he wanted to get rid of any witnesses. The gunman shot four people in the Gorge campground Saturday night. Two of them died, and August says he didn't want his daughters to grow up without a father, so he ran for his life. August was shot in the shoulder, and doctors told him it just missed his carotid artery and left lung. The jewelry maker is worried he may not regain full use of his hand, and he also has something to say about security that night. This can happen 
ones, it can happen again if they don't do their jobs right. He still says what happened won't stop him from going back to festivals because music makes him happy. Also adding that other concert goers shouldn't let a bad event ruin other fun experiences. The name of the gunman and the identities of the people who were killed that night still haven't been released. 4 News Now has reached out to the North Central Washington Special Investigations Unit, the agency in charge of this investigation, but we have not heard back just yet. And this is a story we'll be following closely closely for the next few days and we'll be sure to update you on kegsoy.com and of course right here on 4 News Now with more information as it becomes available. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. All right, Sydney, thank you. In a few hours, we will confirm the identity of the man accused of killing four of his neighbors in a Kellogg home on Sunday. Idaho State Police say his name will be revealed ahead of his first court appearance, which is scheduled for 10 a.m. Police have also been keeping the identities of the victims under wraps, though we did talk to a woman who says she worked with one of the victims at a nearby nursing home. We expect to learn much more about the case today. 4 News Now will have a crew in the courtroom and will bring you team coverage tonight at 5 and 6 and throughout the day on KXLY.com. In a new interview, former President Donald Trump is shedding new light on that federal indictment in the classified documents case. He spoke to Fox News about a key piece of evidence in the case and offered an explanation. ABC's Ike Jachi has the story. This morning, former President Trump is addressing a key piece of evidence in the federal indictment stemming from his handling of classified documents. Ready? You were recorded. It wasn't a document. Okay. I had lots of paper. I had copies of newspaper articles. Prosecutors say Trump is heard on audio showing what he called secret information to people at his New Jersey golf club in 2021 and acknowledged the document was classified and highly confidential. But in a new interview with Fox News, Trump says he was not referring to an actual document on that recording. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories, and articles. I'm just Trump has pleaded not guilty to 37 federal charges, including conspiracy and obstruction. Prosecutors accused him of illegally keeping classified documents at his Florida resort. Trump now says he had personal items mixed in with those documents, which is why he says he did not comply with the subpoena to return the records. Golf shirts, clothing, pants, shoes. Trump also talking about his campaign, saying he wants to be less combative if he gets a second term. But he also intensified his feud with his former attorney general, Bill Barr, after Barr blasted Trump this past Sunday. You know, he's like a nine-year-old, a defiant nine-year-old kid who's always pushing the glass toward the edge of the table, defying his parents to stop him from doing it. Bill Barr, who's, you know, a coward. Bill Barr was a coward. Bill Barr didn't do what he was supposed to do. I fired him, and he has great hatred. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. Meanwhile, in a separate development, new details from the January 6th investigation. The Washington Post reports the Justice Department delayed plans to investigate Trump's role in the attack by 15 months out of concern the Justice Department would look too partisan. Well, the Great Resignation is showing no signs of stopping. A recent survey by PricewaterhouseCoopers shows a quarter of workers plan to change jobs in the next 12 months. That's up from 19% just last year. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6.38. Back to Mark Peterson, and you know, there are a lot of times when our air quality is much worse right now than it is. Yeah, and we've got fires to the north, also some smaller fires to the south, but we're staying out of the smoke today. Tomorrow it's looking really good. We're going to continue to talk about we've got some summer temperatures coming, but it's still spring, and it's going to be spring-like today, no doubt. Your full forecast coming up. Four News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. It's time to celebrate all grads and dads with the best deals of the year at all Cal locations in Airway Heights, on 4th Street in Coeur d'Alene, and Spokane on Division Street. We're not horsing around with these special buys. Cruise down the road in a cool new ride and delay all payments for 60 days. Plus, take advantage of special low financing. And this week, you can enter to win a new Traeger grill at each location, making it the perfect time to go to Cal. Rachel McAdams and the stars of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. 
This book has been so popular. Why now? Hey, they're going to do this after I die, so I might as well enjoy it. <laughs> Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. Get your home summer ready and take advantage of some big savings. At Ironstone Furniture and Fire, you can create your outdoor space and save on in-stock selections of barbecues, outdoor furniture, fire pits, and more. Everything you need to enjoy the outdoors with family and friends. Visit our showroom, Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. And are you excited for this? Yes. <laughs> nachos for dinner. It's kind of crazy. Plus, cinnamon rolls are getting a supersized makeover by the cake boss. Next, Rachel. Watch Rachel today at 3 and 4 News Now at 5. Take control of your credit card debt with a P1 FCU personal loan. We're offering no payments for 90 days and a fixed rate of 9.99% APR for a limited time. Consolidating debt can help you save money and simplify your life with the ease of a single payment. Plus, if you open or have an Ascend checking account, you'll be eligible for an extra $200. Visit p1fcu.org slash take control and apply today. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. At Papa Murphy's, we do more than just pizza. We do calzones. Actually, I do the calzones. And how do you do it, Dad? How do I do it? How do I do it? Order now at papamurphys.com. All right, welcome back. Good morning, Northwest Time, 641. A daily aspirin may lead to anemia in older adults. In a newly published study, researchers found more than 18,000 adults who were 65 and older. Half of those took a low dose of aspirin a day, while the other half took a placebo. Adults who took the aspirin were 20% more likely to be anemic than those who didn't take it. In recent years, experts have backed away from blanket use of aspirin therapy for older adults after studies showed it carried an increased risk of major bleeding. All right, we take a look at the 10 second takeaway and it's all about the clouds and the showers. Yeah, there's gonna be a sun break or two, no doubt about it. Um, grab a jacket, sweater, we've got 10 mile an hour winds and we're sitting into the mid 40s, high today 60. All right, take a look at this video. It looks like seemingly endless lightning in a storm over Pensacola, Florida. The person who shot this video called it one of the most incredible things he says he'd ever seen. But those electrifying moments were nothing compared to video captured in the middle of the storm of this unbelievable water rescue also in Pensacola. As a responding deputy arrived to help people trapped in their cars during rising floodwaters, both the deputy and another man were suddenly sucked underwater. This is body cam footage. The pair were swept through a drainage pipe, traveling roughly 30 seconds underneath a four-lane highway before re-emerging, somehow unheard, 100 feet away on the other side. Wow. All right, good morning, Northwest Time is now 18 minutes before 6 o'clock, or excuse me, 7 o'clock. Destiny Richards is live at the Second Harvest Kitchen this morning. Yeah, we are learning all about the opportunities you have here at the kitchen at Second Harvest to get inspired and make some summer meals for your family. Coming up, we're finishing up our fruity roll-ups and we'll talk about how you can participate in the June and July community cooking classes. Download the 4 News Now app today. Are you looking for ways to enhance your outdoor space? Look no further than Spokane Boys Nursery. At Spokane Boys Nursery, the goal is to help you find the materials to create the perfect addition to your yard or garden. Pavers to start your patio, the right plants to surround, larger trees and shrubs to create privacy, and the perfect water feature to complete the tranquil environment you aspire to have. So why wait? Visit Spokane Boys today to turn your backyard into a peaceful oasis. Want to get away? This month, when you purchase a new vehicle from Dishman Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep, you'll receive free airfare to wherever you'd like to go. It's the great summer getaway at Dishman. Plus, we're loaded with some of the best used inventory we've had in years. When you purchase a new vehicle from Dishman, you'll receive free airfare to a destination of your choice. It's the perfect time to get into a new Dodge Ram Chrysler or Jeep during the great summer getaway at Dishman. Alabama Roll On North America Tour presented by Kenworth. July 6th, Spokane Arena. Baby, 
something. With very special guest, the Marshall Tucker Band, like Alabama, live. All your favorite songs from the greatest country band of all time. Roll on, Daddy, till you get back home. On sale now at ticketswest.com. You gotta have a fiddle in Produced by Outback Presents. I was scared the night you overdosed, but I was prepared. I brought naloxone with me. I learned when to use it. I learned how to use it. And I know you trusted me to use it. I held your hand tight when you woke up because I wanted you to feel safe. Your life is worth saving, friend, and I would save it again if I had to. Your work is your calling. It drives your days and powers your nights. But if your teeth no longer work as hard as you do, Aspen Dental is here with smile replacement solutions that work for your life. Whether it's your first step or a fast fix, you can get in today for all your denture needs, all at an affordable price. Right now, get new dentures for $30 per month per arch with 60 months financing. $1,770 total payments, including interest. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Book today. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Lines Insurance at alllinesinsure.com. We'll need some inspiration in the kitchen this summer. Second Harvest Food Bank offers community cooking classes during the summer that could help you out while your kids are at home. Destin Richards is live at Second Harvest Kitchen this morning talking about those summer meals. Yeah, so this morning we are making fruity roll-ups with peanut butter and fruit and some whole grain tortillas. Melissa Johnson, I'll let you take it away with what we have to do to prepare this here. Okay, it's a really simple recipe. You start with your tortilla. We always say make half your grains whole, so whole wheat tortilla. Um, we're going to do about a quarter cup of uh, nut butter. We're using sun nut butter. Um, I know peanut allergies can be a thing, especially with kiddos, so we're going to do about, or estimate, but we're going to do about a quarter cup in there. So we'll do the quarter cup and just scoop it out onto there. Really simple. You're going to spread it all around. Nice and even there. And this is a really simple recipe anybody could make it and everybody loves it. Yeah. It's, it's for kiddos and adults and everybody. Then you're going to put about a cup of fruit and, and just to remember a cup, I'm going to guesstimate, but about a cup, um, you really want to watch your portion sizes. So if you're following a recipe, try to get pretty close to that. So mm -hmm. we'll do, we have uh, beautiful strawberries. They are very big in our warehouse and then some raspberries. So it's kind of a berry roll up. Uh, that looks about like a cup, I would say. All right, okay. and then there's a proper way to roll this. I didn't there do is. so well last there time. There is, so let's <laughs> take it away. I'll let you hold it. Okay. Actually, okay. Don't mind. All right. So, so she is rolling, it. folks. There we go. Look at her go. And then, oh, you know what? I did oh. that wrong. You're supposed to fold it on the sides. Something like this. Look at that. This is it my way of doing it. And great. I just kind of hold it and it. take a bite. That's mm. great. <laughs> mm. There we go. Good. She nailed it. <laughs> okay. And for more information about the community classes, you can go to our website, kxly.com. They're for people who are clients of Second Harvest, but you can pay $15 if you're just a member of the community and want to help. It goes towards the programs. A very sticky sounding mouth sounds right now. So I'll just send it back to you, Derek. <laughs> Yeah, always good to take a bite unless that bite involves peanut butter and you can't yeah. <laughs> form your words properly <laughs> for a few seconds. All right, hey, looks like we've had a little bit of clearing uh, over our skies this morning as we've seen this picture develop over the course of the morning. And we're not going to get that warm today, though. Not no. really at all. No, not at all. We're going to be 14 degrees below average. Yeah. Our average high of 74, 60 for the high today. Right now, starting off 47 Coeur d'Alene. Again, you got the cloud cover. We have sun, clouds, and showers onto the west. 46 degrees currently, and again, breezy wind, so that gives us that feeling of 38 degrees. Um, we have had and will continue to see the potential for these showers in around Deer Park. I-90 as you go west of Ritzville, they've got rain showers. Temperatures nearing 50 into the valley, 47 into Deer Park. But again, we throw those winds at it and we start to see that things aren't quite what they seem as you head out the door. Cool today, 60 showers and potential isolated thunderstorm activity. Overnight, 46 with about a 20 to 30% chance of showers increasing again tomorrow. So we have the rotation of this huge low that's going to start moving through and out of the area. It's going to take 48 hours for that to happen. We're going to see these rain showers again roll through us today. We'll get some nice breaks. We get more shower activity, and that's going to be the continued trend overnight. We do clear out. So tomorrow afternoon, another return of showers. 
High today, 60, 58 into Colville, 61 into Pullman. Lewiston, 70. In fact, low 70s for the Tri-Cities. Everybody is on the cool side. We look at the planning forecast. Cool today, still below average tomorrow, but 68 degrees. That's better. It's the first day of summer, by the way. And then Thursday, 77 with Hoop Fest weekend and whatever else you have planned. Low 80s, looking really nice. Yeah, real nice. No complaints there at all. Good morning, Northwest time is almost 6.50. Your morning sprint is coming up next. We thank you so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Tuesday morning. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Gamma Knife. At Fred Meyer, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. Gardening for Grands, one of our favorite one-day wonders. So wonderful. East Valley Middle School, not only the shop class building the race beds, but helping us to deliver them. It was a day of fun and memories. It was wonderful. 4 News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. Ah! I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap and Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Hi, this is Noda Begay III, PJ Tour member and Golf Channel broadcaster. I'm here to tell you about sponsorship opportunities for the Circling Raven Championship, the women's professional tournament presented by KXLY4 News. It will feature more than 150 rising stars from 30 countries. For sponsors, it's an ideal way to empower youth, women, and Native Americans through the game of golf. For more information, visit cdacasino.com or call 800-523-2464. I'll see you there. My name is Bob Rambo, and this is my Summit Cancer Center story. I had lymphoma. I was kind of scared to death, and the doctors recommended I go to Summit Cancer Center. Everybody on the staff there is super neat, nice, and it's kind of like a, a homecoming. I had lymphoma, and they cured that. I am very thankful for this cancer center. Summer is heating up and that means now is the perfect time to stop into Mainstream for your new air conditioning unit. When you do, we'll even throw in a free furnace to help keep you comfortable year-round. It's all part of our summer special. Call or visit Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling and Plumbing today to find out more. When you download the Fred Meyer app, you have easy access to savings every day and get personalized coupons sent straight to your phone. Save big today when you download the Fred Meyer app. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest morning spread is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Just about 6.53, let's get you ready to take on your Tuesday here in the morning sprint. Destiny Richards is live at Second Harvest with a way you can keep your kids eating healthy while they're away from school this summer. Mark Peterson has your forecast for the last day of spring, and Sydney Charles has the details on the shooting just outside the gorge that killed two people on Saturday night. But first, this morning, we will confirm the identity of the man Idaho State Police say shot and killed four people in a Kellogg home on Sunday. His first court appearance is happening at 10 a.m. ISP has confirmed the 31-year-old man accused of killing the four people was the victim's neighbor and is being held on probable cause for murder. They have not released the suspect's name or the name of the victims. 4 News Now will have a crew in that courtroom today. We'll bring you the very latest on air and online at KXY.com. And a shooting that killed two people and left three others injured, including the shooter, shook the inland northwest this past weekend. On Saturday, a gunman opened fire on several people just before 8.30 p.m. in the campground right outside the Gorge Amphitheater as the Beyond Wonderland Music Festival was happening. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says the suspect walked away from the shooting scene and began firing randomly into the crowd before he was taken into custody by police. It's now been more than 48 hours since that shooting, 
and we still don't have a motive or the identity of the suspect. We do know that the North Central Washington Special Investigations Unit, which investigates officer-involved shootings, will release more information at a later date, and you can look for updates on this story on KXLY.com. And just into the newsroom this morning, Hunter Biden will plead guilty to three federal charges. The Justice Department made the announcement just a few moments ago. According to filing in a federal court in Delaware, Hunter Biden will plead guilty to two federal tax misdemeanors and one charge tied to gun possession. The plea deal will have immediate reverberations in the 2024 presidential election. And more breaking news this morning out of Romania, where, where online influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan are among four people People charged today with human trafficking, rape, and setting up a criminal gang. The group is under house arrest pending a criminal investigation for abuses committed against seven women. Andrew Tate is also charged with raping one of the victims. As we look at our first alert weather in the first alert weather app, again, a great tool onto your personal device so you know what's going on here. Look at the four things. It's going to be cool and showers day, isolated thunderstorm potential out there. Wednesday, summer arrives in the morning at 7.57, and the warm Hoop Fest weekend is coming up. We'll talk more about that, but we are looking for scattered showers that are going to happen throughout the day. Our high today, just 60 degrees. Coming up next on Good Morning America, a massive search operation is still underway this morning to find that submersible with five people on board. It's been missing since Sunday when it lost contact two hours into a trip to view the wreckage of the Titanic. The Coast Guard commander leading the search joins GMA Live for all the latest updates. And in the grossest story of the day, a Mormon cricket crisis is expanding in the western U.S. The insect surge began in Idaho a few weeks ago. Now, millions of these flightless insects have descended on swaths of Nevada. The sheer quantity of them on the streets now forcing the Department of Transportation in Nevada to use plows and warn of slick roads due to the squash bugs. The insects have a history of causing widespread damage to crops and other vegetation. Experts say the crickets have a four to six year cycle and then go dormant. And we've been live this morning at the kitchen at Second Harvest talking all about their community cooking classes. The kitchen is a facility where they hold these classes year round, but this summer they have some classes open June and July that might interest you if you're looking for some inspiration to feed your family this summer. You can go to our website kxy.com for more information about the classes and other opportunities to get hands-on experience making some healthy summer meals. Well, the boat launch and swim beach at Camelon Park in Post Falls opens today. A Vista says it expects operations to run through Labor Day. It also says water levels and conditions around the Post Falls Dam can change at any time, so remember to be safe when using the river in that area. And of course, Hoop Fest is this weekend. We've been talking about it, and whether you're playing, supporting your friends, or just checking out Hoop Town USA, tens of thousands of people are getting hyped. Brackets will be released tomorrow at 6 p.m. on the Hoop Fest 2023 app. Team check begins the next day. There is a lot more you'll want to know before the world's largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament takes over downtown Spokane, including which roads will be closed, when they'll start closing, and where you can park. But don't worry, we'll have all that information for you inside the story on KXLY.com. Check it out. We'll check Mark's uh, forecast one more time coming up after the break. Don't go away. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. We rent china, glassworks, tents, barbecues, flatware, linens, dance floor, staging, tables, chairs. Agency rental, no job too big, no job too small. Jackhammers, tambours, washers, stump burner saws, generators, skid steer, excavator, dingoes, trailers, tractors, nailers, staplers, hole diggers, tillers, mowers, yard men, aerators. Call A to Z Rental at 509-924-2000 or go to rentatoz.com. We rent everything, man. Now open in Airway Heights. At A to Z Rental, we rent everything. Summer storms, sudden, intense, dangerous. 4 News Now First Alert Weather warns you in advance. Up to quarter size hail. Keeping you informed until the threat is passed and your family is safe. On the air, on the app, only on 4 News Now. 
All right, good morning, everybody. Taking a live look at the blue sky at the cloud cover, and we do have rain showers in the area, and that's going to be our day today, and it's going to be a cool day. Highs are only going to be 60 degrees. In fact, it's going to be noon. We finally hit the mid-50s, and then we're going to have afternoon shower and rain shower potential, isolated thunderstorm potential. Tomorrow, still a little below average, but 68, and it's the first day of summer. We then continue to warm with the summer temperatures all the way through the weekend. In fact, Hoop Fest looks to be beautiful with low 80s expected all the way through Sunday. Yeah, I like that continue to warm part. Thanks for being with us this morning here on Good Morning Northwest. We'll have updates throughout Good Morning America, which starts right now.